I thought I was losing you. I thought perhaps we were neglecting each other. Well, you're the one who moved out. I was talking to Mary. Ugh, why don't you two just elope, for God's sake? Impertinent. Offensive. Actually, would you mind? Not at all. You've been reading John's blog, the story of how you met. Helps me if I see myself through his eyes sometimes. I'm so much cleverer. Beating corpses to establish how long after death bruising is still possible. Excellent reflexes. You'll do. I also play the violin and smoke a pipe. I presume that's not a problem. Uh, oh, well. You know, it's rare for us to sit together like this. Two old friends just talking, chewing the fat. Man to man. Oh, isn't he observant now that Daddy's gone? I am observant in some ways. Just as Holmes is quite blind in others. For the record, Holmes, she didn't have me fooled. Why do you need to be alone? Why are you so determined to be alone? You are referring to romantic entanglement, Watson, which I rather fear you are. As I have often explained before, all emotion is abhorrent to me. She married you. I assume she was capable of finding a reason. I'll do my best. Marriage is not a subject upon which I dwell. Why not? What's the matter with you this evening? That watch that you're wearing, there's a photograph inside it. I believe it is of Irene Adler. A very an excellent choice of wife. Against absolutely no opposition whatsoever, I am your closest friend. For God's sake, this could kill you. You could die. As someone who worries about you, what made you like this? Very nice photograph. Why are you talking like this? The fair sex is your department, Watson. Is it such a curious question? I am currently attempting to have a perfectly normal conversation with you. Please. You're a living, breathing man. You've lived a life. You have a past. What? I 